December 17th, 2015. We're live talking about EdCamp OKC number four. Yay. Woo-hoo. Woo-hoo. So we've got uh, our Google Doc, and uh, we are, I think, going to mainly get to the point where we can have our tickets online. And I think that Julie and Adam are planning to come, and they've been talking with principals, and I think Southeast High School in Oklahoma City is going to be our host. Um, so that's kind of the, the main thing, but, but uh, the last you know couple years we've had a call before Christmas to just kind of get the ball rolling and get people you know started to thinking about committees, and we are a finely oiled machine at this point with so many great volunteers to know what to do, but who knows, maybe someone wants to step out of the box and totally do something different. Tammy may just say, enough prizes, I'm handing this off to somebody else, so... Um, you read my mom? <laughs> yeah, and you, and you can do that. You can do that. So why don't we, we'll just kind of follow the agenda. Um, why don't we go around and share something that is an interesting update about your life. It could be professional or personal since the last Ed Camp, which is, you know, since March. So that's a big, big window. And uh, then we'll see if we end up getting, you know, Adam or Julie to join us. And uh, and we'll just kind of go from there. So I'll go first. Um I am living the dream because I uh, am now a technology director, so I've joined the ranks of June and others, <laughs> although I'm probably, le- I don't know, I think I have less responsibility, so our school is about 900 kids, but it is really a very wonderful place to be, and uh, lots. And I'm getting to do some good, good coaching with teachers in addition to, you know, shipping a firewall back that we did, that we had been testing, and you know, looking at voice over IP phone systems and fixing smart boards and all kinds of fun stuff. And configuring iPads. Here's a 32 gig iPad I just bought at CDR for $319 because it's a lot cheaper to get them that way if you can. Anyway, lots of good fun stuff. So, who wants to go next? We don't have to go in any order. I'll jump in. in. Uh, I started a graduate, graduate program, program this semester. semester. So, I am in the uh, educational technology. Uh, program at ECU, so fun to be a student again. I, I've always loved learning, uh, so I've had to learn to juggle a lot of responsibilities that I already have on my plate and add add more uh, student <laughs> type of responsibilities. But it's been great. I've learned a lot. So is it all learning. online or it's all it's kind of blended? All 100 online, 100 okay. online. So yeah, it's a it's a great program. And how many people are in your cohort? It's not a cohort. Um, it's it. Um, you know, it's just open, a regular open, graduate. Open, yep, open enrollment, uh, regular graduate program. Um, many students in different you know programs were in my two classes this semester. So, you know, but it it's mm-hmm. it's great. Um, got very comfortable with Blackboard and Chalk and Wire, and you know all of those reading assignments and <laughs> so. But I'm enjoying it. Yep, that's great. Wow. Vanessa, you want to go? Um, sure. I think we, we didn't talk about it online, but I also am in a new uh, position, a new place. I'm the instructional technology specialist for Clinton now, or one of them. Uh, so that's fun and exciting for me. And what does that mean your scope is and your, your responsibility? Um, I am primarily at the high school right now, um, middle school and one of the elementary schools. So a lot of it right now has to do with the maker spaces and getting the teachers to to see how we use them. And because um, we've got five, we've got a different maker space in each school, and they've got really different personalities and different kind of functions. So I'm I'm working on that, and then getting teachers um, hooked up with the technology that they either have and show them how to use it or technology that they're, they, they are looking for but they don't know what to call it or how to find it or use it. Wow. So big, big change from, from Lawton and teaching full time and giving up all your awesome grant uh, collaboration stations and all that good stuff. I miss it. I miss it. But I get to go to the bathroom. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? That's the number one thing. I'm like, woohoo! I have a bathroom right by my office, baby, and nobody says, wait till 1 o'clock. It was like, no lunch duty, no morning duty. What is this life? 
It's like it, it truly is going like from blue collar to white collar. I mean, having control over your schedule is it really it's a huge thing. So, all right, June, you're up. This then, is beginning then, to feel a little snooty. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's shocking cognitive dissonance, right? When you wow. You know, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll tell you what. It was a big, uh, big shift when you go from working bell to bell when that you know. That's before, right. There's no bell when you get into that office, and you're like, well, where did the time go? So, uh, I missed the kid. Yeah. Go ahead. But so what? So what's been new for you, June? You got to do something new since last Ed Camp. Oh, well, I'm officially 24 years in on the military side. I, I hit 24 years. So wow. That, uh, that was a big milestone and uh, got uh, probably stick around for another couple more. I got the green light from my bosses to uh, re-enlist. So. But that's on the personal side. School-wise, it's going pretty good. Uh, after the third year, starting our third year as a, the director and – Seems to be busier than it was the when I first took over, right after the tornado, which is weird. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe you have more more teachers doing more things with their tech with their tech, so that can make your life busier. Um, that could be. <laughs> could be. So if somebody's watching, I just uh, DM'd Adam. We've got space. We're not full up. So if Julie's watching and Adam, um, the link is at the top of the Google Doc. That's the actual join link. So you should be able to do that, or I can. I can DM it to you. So welcome, Ann. What's new in your life since EdCamp OKC 2015 in March? Um, a lot. <laughs> um, I'm now at, uh, in higher education working um, as instructional tech at um, the Jadine Rainbow College of Education at OU. Um, we are piloting Google Apps for Education for our students, and I'm working with the professors and with the students on different types of educational technology really kind of starting at the beginning. <laughs> so um, it's been nice to kind of, you know, Clinton was just so, so, you know, they were just getting so far and beyond that, you know, you always have to stay on your toes. And I still do. I'm not saying that, but, um, you know, Vanessa's a great fit there because she just thinks so much out of the box that I'm excited about the paths that they're going to be fixing and take. But I love my job. I get to work at home a couple of days a week, which has been nice, get some stuff done. And... Um, working in that atmosphere has been a little bit of a transition just because college kids don't give hugs. So right. uh, <laughs> I would uh, much rather probably as far as working with students be, I'd much rather be back in the middle school classroom. <laughs> but um, it's been a challenging, but I, I love it, and it's, it's good. And we're fixing to start planning. We got approved for iPad Palooza OU in August. Oh, in August. Yes, so you EdCamp people, I hope you guys will – maybe possibly be on my organizing team, and you get to go for free. So okay. um, we're going to have it, and it's going to be like a Google Summit on Saturdays and Sunday. What, um, what, what date's in August? It is the last weekend in August. I think it's 29th and 30th. It's the last weekend in August before um, Labor Day. Well, so, I'm talking to Carl Hooker in the morning because we're going to see about bringing him to our school to talk about digital citizenship and talk with awesome. parents and kids. He is the man. So is he gonna is he gonna come to help with that? I think, or? Yeah. Um, the way iPad Palooza goes, they kind of pretty much give you a conference in a box. But the first year, you do have to bring one of their people in. And I think that Dr. colin has been talking to um, Carl about possibly coming. We haven't really got that far yet on what their schedules are and where we're gonna go from there. But I'm really excited. I really hope we can get a lot of Oklahomans there and. Um, the Oklahoma teachers there. We're going to also do something on Friday for pre-service teachers. So we're going to be inviting the colleges on Friday for that day for for um, future teachers. So that's going to be pretty cool too. Cool. We're going to host the digital sharing conference uh, at Cassidy the first weekend of November. So okay. there, will be, there will be no Miami device uh, next year. Uh, not that we're going to try and do that scale of a conference, but uh, it'll be the Friday. It'll be Friday Saturday. So pretty excited about that. Yep. Hey, right, can y'all put those dates in the Google Doc? Just as you know, just yeah. as a reminder. Well, what actually, we about. Vanessa, Miss Miss Oklahoma. PD. Hey, PD. We should have a sash. Like, let's do that for Ed Camp. Let's do a Miss PD Oklahoma, PD. and we'll give her a crown, and we'll give her a sash, and it'll have like some Google symbols on it. So, like the Google Doc stuff. That'd be good. 
Uh, Adam, we're going to assign that to Adam since he's not here. Um, Adam, <laughs> you're muted. You're muted, Vanessa. We couldn't hear your reply. You got to unmute. I was saying I had opened a new tab. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, uh, Adam is at his wife's Christmas party, um, but he has said to put him down for posters and signs, so that's kind of kind of good jumping up to committees. Um, I I texted him. I talked to Ju he and Julie. I, I emailed, and I guess I maybe look at my email, but uh, I'm 90, 95% sure that we're set for Southeast High School, and that's kind of what we just wanted to confirm, you know, as far as the location. Um, we've we've talked about this in the past, and or, and hopefully everyone kind of knows. But we we're talking about kind of coming back to Oklahoma City every other year. So that way, I mean, it is OKC. Um, good to you know, great to be moving, and, and I think being in different places. Um, but that's kind of what we were have have thought about doing, and so we're coming back to an Oklahoma City campus. So if anybody has Can ideas. For next year. Can you tell us, do you have a contact there, Wes? Like, it, do we have a panelist or a, a member mm -hmm. that, that that works there? Uh, that would actually be a good idea to see if we could get him to join, kind of like um, Amanda did for Oklahoma. Well, oh, I, I just thought we already, is there someone that works there that you have a connection with? or I, Adam and How did we get that tie? Yeah, Adam Rogers and uh, Julie Gathright have taken the lead on the contacts. Originally, they were trying to get us at Northwest Classen, but then they were going to charge us a few hundred bucks. And so mm -hmm. they're, they're like, no, I don't think we want to do that. Um, okay, so here it is. I'll drop it in. It's Ms. Melissa okay. Hall. And so we've got her number and email. And, okay, I don't have a reply from them since then. So, um, but here's the caps. But it would be good to, to try to maybe invite them to come and we can set up our next meeting and kind of maybe figure out what our meeting schedule might look like if we want to do every other week or, you know, we probably don't have to do that much um, since we are experienced at doing this, but we could, it would be probably great to have them in. Um, as far as dates too, do you all know about it? Camp Tulsa at the end of, of uh, January. Mm-hmm. So do we do we know the the edcampok.org site? I'm trying to keep updated with information. Is that the is that the nine one eight one? Is that what they're calling uh -huh. it? Yeah, okay. it is. Yeah, it's the nine one eight one. Okay. So in fact, so we'll just do dates. So um, does anybody know about any others any other ed camps that you've heard about or anybody's been talking about besides Tulsa and uh, and us? Oh, you're Lawton. Is that is Lawton still a yes. on the sixth? That's what oh, I was going to say. Is Lawton wow. still yeah. have one? I'm having like a mind break. Yeah, we're still a go for Southwest Oklahoma on the the sixth of February, I believe, and we'll be at Cameron at the CDs Center there. Okay, gonna run so. the gauntlet of ice. So, but hey, it's all it's an El Nino year, so I think you're you're gonna be good. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. How close are you to um, Ada, Vanessa? How, how close is Lawton to Ada? Uh, I think it's two hours because I had to go to okay. Camp Tech Terra last summer. Let me double check. Okay. So, so you're going to be at, at Cameron? Is it? What, which campus did you say you're going to be at? Cameron University in Lawton. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Any other ones that we've heard people talking about, rumors about? Not me. I have a, that Lawton and the Tulsa one were the only two that okay. came. Oh, okay. So, wow. All right. So, Adam says the school has changed to John Marshall, and we can go 300 to 400. Well, okay. All right. Exactly. I guess since it's not election year, then we don't really have to really worry too much about that, right? I'm just kidding. Huh. Are you all, I mean, are you all okay with that idea that we kind of alternate and go back to Oklahoma City? Or what are, what are y'all's thoughts about hosts? You have. Uh, do we ask for hosts to volunteer, or what has the, been the procedure? 
for us finding a site. The, fir the first one I was working in Yukon, so just kind of, you know, talk to them and work, work with them uh, to make that happen. Um, the second one, I think Eric Howman might have asked, you know, or inquired about Oklahoma City uh, playing host. And, you know, last year, June stepped up to the mic and let us, let us go to more. So it's just kind of kind of happened and fallen into place. Yeah. yeah. Um, we had talked about Piedmont. I don't know if you all know Josh Pierce, but he's going to United Systems. And Jake Heaster left there too. So all the people I'm – well, um, we still got um, uh, Principal – draw a blank. Um, Sean. Blank Sean Blank Blank Yeah. Yeah, um, but any you know, any, but what do you, what thoughts do you all have about that as far as venue? Piedmont's a pretty central location. If I mean, I'm not a problem with John Marshall, but if it's a pretty good facility, and Sean's been pretty involved. What do you all think about the idea of, of bringing Oklahoma City back, or do you think we need need to do that? I mean, I think uh, Adam and and Julie have been working hard to get us the venue, so. Oh, okay. I feel I like thought, I, I misunderstood the question. Yeah, Sorry. and we're and we're secure, but I just but I've just I guess I've kind of inserted my my opinion into that as far as thinking of you know of rotating back and forth, but that's something that we can. I'm interested in what you all think, and it isn't something that's set in stone or something that we would have to that we would have to stick with. Any thoughts? I say I whoever offers the host that we take it. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and we may, you know, to give um, um, to give other, give other schools, schools an option to host, it might be that, be that we put out an offer and have them submit, you know, on a Google form, and then you know the planners just make a decision based mm -hmm. on, sure, you know, maybe contacts we have at that school or knowing that we can ease in and actually work with boots on the ground and have a seamless it, transition. Because if, if somebody has administration that's very supportive, well, right. just like June, yeah. I mean, it, it makes a huge difference. Yeah, got that, helps, administrative that helps support. us as planners to really have that good, you know, organizer connection if we can ever get that. June, do you think it had a good impact on your teachers as far as attendance, or what do you think that? It did. Um, they weren't sure what EdCamp was to begin with because nobody really heard about it. Uh, so... Uh, by bringing that in, it actually helped jumpstart a lot of other uh, Ed Camp style uh, PD within our district. So I think it's going to well, and that's a great point. I'm sorry to interrupt, but that was such a great point that you know if we could target a school who really needs that jolt, you know, um, maybe even a low performing school or, or something that we can say, hey, Ed Camp, um, you know, was a catalyst. To maybe uh, allow teachers to to really see some opportunities within what they learned that day. That that might be a really a cool thing that we could offer back to that host site. Yeah, because well, after that ed camp, we actually did an ed camp for first year teachers. Wow! So at the That's very awesome. beginning of the year, our teacher prep uh, PD was an ed camp style. We did a lot of uh, a hybrid of at camp, but we also did another area just for new teachers uh, to spend a little time with them. Uh, that was just technology based. Uh, took Ann's idea of kind of makerspace type thing and just took a lot of different ideas from the groups um, and just kind of spawned from there. That's a that's a great we, testimony. You know, we may want to yeah. even, even share those kind of things because that's right. Ed Camp has multiple ways that it works that's as far as. The individual level, but also the organization level. I think sure. that's a good idea to think about putting a form out there and. Yeah. And, uh, hey, have we thought about? I mean, being new to this, have you? Have we? We've got the the Oakla Ed group that you can push something out and say, "Hey, we're looking for sponsors as as the year progresses. We'd love to come to your mm -hmm. school." Yeah. We could. I have a great contact at Dell now who's taken us to lunch three times, so he's like, what do you need? So that's, that's good. We, we too, well, you know who that probably Dirk. <laughs> June works closely with him. Anyway, I already hit him up, so we're going to. But June, are you talking about asking Uncle Ed for, for, for host sides? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because I think that group has yeah. grown, that's, and yeah. uh, I think it's, it's a yeah. good course. Well, and it, it, it would give Oklahoma a voice. A voice. 
in you know where that ed camp is hosted within the Oklahoma City area. That might be that may give give uh, more ownership. Sure, I mean I think hopefully everyone will know we're a very open and collaborative group, you know, and anybody who is interested in in being a part yeah, maybe and, we and being crowd and organized crowdsource it and vote it in. Yeah, maybe we could let the Oakland Ed vote the next location and you know get some nominees or some you know some applicants and then you know let right. the crowd vote where it goes. I don't know if that might be kind of cool. Sure. So, it, but thinking about 2017, thinking about yes, after, 2017. After this year. Yeah, no, I think that's yeah. a great idea because the more yeah. people, I mean, ideally, wouldn't it be great to have you know several superintendents, tech directors, you know, board members? Oh man, we really would like to host this. It'd be great, you know, visibility for us. It'd be great for our teachers. That kind of dynamic. So, and even and are we ever are we ever big enough that we would want a regional EdCamp OKC? At multiple sites going on at one time, and you know, I don't know. We could talk about really that. large. Yeah, Iowa did that a couple years ago, where they had mm -hmm. an EdCamp day, and they had like five sites at different service centers. Um, you know, if we, I don't know though. You know, we had 900 that that we pulled off. Um, well, and EdCamp okay, SDE was such a big kind of, you know, statewide. Everybody coming in and kind of seeing EdCamp. Right. Uh, maybe for the. Time, that might bring out more attendees as well. Right. Every ed camp seems to have a little bit different, you know, focus and mm -hmm. feel. I mean, I know in Kansas City where they do the Museum of Art or whatever, you know, Cal Pace, they sell out every year, but that's part of the thing that it's like, mm -hmm. I think they still have 400 or something like that. I haven't been to that one. Um, but we could certainly entertain that idea. So by putting a form out there and asking for people to uh, share if they'd you know, be interested, um, then we can be in dialogue with them and we can have, have people talk it up, you know, because it'd be great for people to talk right. about because there's no barrier to it them would be. having their own. And June, maybe we can find Absolutely. a way to document some of the impact that that had for you all. Like, that'd be a great little short video to be able to share, um, even if maybe that's something I could come down and just help do a couple interviews someday with, um, you know, some of the principals or some of the first year teachers. But, you know, that thing where a couple, a few different people talk about it. Because um, I, I love hearing those kind of stories. I know Edmund, I think it's Sequoia, did their own ed camp internal. And but it would also be kind of good. Like how June, how was the dynamic as far as doing it internally? Was there still a really good vibe, or was it different? Or what? you know, it, it, it was a good vibe because it it forced by doing it internally, it forced our coordinators that weren't used to doing something like that out, and they showed up and they participated. Uh, it. It got some people that were kind of behind the scenes that weren't tech, what they consider tech savvy or afraid of that conversation, but uh, they had to get away from the idea that it's not technology based. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what we tried to focus on is like just because my name's in there and I've got my instructional text helping out that it was not just technology focused. Right. And I think that was the big thing that we had a, the big role on our end. Uh, but as far as our new teachers, they were like going, so we get to choose what we want to have PD on? And they're like, absolutely. It's such a radical concept, but it seems in many ways silly that it is, right? You know, because we have a, one PD day coming up in February, and they bought a DVD series, and the plan is still to let folks choose. But some people are very nervous about that, and it's like, come on, come to Ed Camp. It works. It, it is different. Trust the teachers. Hey, Ann, can we... Is it a possibility to use OU's facilities for this if we did an ed camp at OU? Um, yeah, they, they've offered before, and she uh, we got a bunch of, according to them, got a bunch of stuff going. But then uh, I think going back to the OKC location, I, Dr. Paul, I, and I wasn't involved. That was me talking, you know, talking with her. I mean, this is something for us to think about philosophically too. I think it's like with Stillwater, and, and it's great, you know, for them with their with Ed Camp yeah. Stilly. Ed Camp has really been. I totally get that we need to transform K twelve, or sorry, uh, higher ed as far as you know pre service, and it's something oh, yeah. that we can we can we can visit. Absolutely, I mean, we we could visit with this. We could totally you know do our Ed Camp at OU next year if if they want to. Um, but there's so much value in being in the K twelve schools. And being in someone else's space, and that whole dynamic and vibe has been, from what I've understood, a really important part of it. I mean, we, it was different, obviously, with the Cox Center, 
but it was you know and it was but it was good at a different level being with the state conference. But those are things for us to talk about and you know kind of decide and you know we can experiment around. I mean, there's nobody sitting here telling us what we have. I mean, obviously there's boundaries for Ed Camp as far as the the rules that we stay in, but in terms of our venue, in terms of the slant that we take, whether we say yeah OU wants to host us and let's give that a shot and see what that's like. I mean, we we totally could. Um, and you know so. Some some of that kind of gets back to maybe, and we don't really have these defined as I've done with other groups like our core values or whatever. But part of part of my feeling at that time um, was saying, that eh, let's keep it K twelve. You know, if if OU wants to do one, they can. Hey, yay! Julie's joined us. Okay, well that's good discussion. Um, Julie is here. Yay! So we just got heard from Adam that uh, we've switched to John Marshall. So. I thought you were fixing to say now that Julie's joined, we're fixing to quit. <laughs> no, not at all. That was funny. So, Julie, you have we to share... We gave Julie all the jobs, and we're done for the night, huh? Julie, you have to share one new thing that's happened since the last Ed Camp OKC in March 1st. So, we've all kind of done that. And that could be a personal um, thing or a professional thing. Just something new, different, some, like, life news from Julie. Um, well, I've been working with fifth graders, <laughs> which is not a Julie thing because I like the little guys. So just working with them and um, getting them excited about, you know, using technology in the classroom. So it's pretty cool. Awesome. Awesome. Well, we've been talking as far as venue and then, you know, thinking about ideas maybe for next year, opening it up where people can, uh, you know, suggest different if they want to volunteer and things like that. But you want to tell us a little bit about the discussions you and Adam had, even going back to Northwest Classen and kind of tell us kind of where you've been where you've gone and, and where we are as far as venue. Yeah, um, we started with Northwest Classen, but um, visiting with the Alumni Association, it was gonna cost like two thousand dollars to use the auditorium. So then um, Adam and I just went around to some of the other Oklahoma City public schools just to check them out. Um, and then talking with Eric and everything, um, John Marshall was probably going to be the best bet for us um, just because of the um, new wireless thing they have going there and the connectivity there is, should be pretty well, pretty good. So um, that's what we settled on um, to have it at John Marshall. And then um, the only thing we know of right now is it's going to cost $50 to have a custodian. So um, somehow I guess we'll probably need to come up with that. But um, Adam and I, after the break, are probably going to go just walk around John Marshall um, and Wes. You're in, but you can come with us. I mean, I know you have a job now that's a little bit more like you can go and do things like that. So <laughs> right, I get to go to the bathroom whenever I want. And oh, anyway. <laughs> so um, that's we'll going invite... to be your banner, Wes. I can go to the bathroom. I could do a T-shirt. Yeah, I can, I'd wear it proudly. <laughs> your slogan. Well, and you can just kind of walk around. <laughs> Make sure all our I's are dotted and T's are crossed. So, but I mean, I think I think everything's good to go. So. Okay, good. Do we have somebody there as far as administration that might want to join our organizer team, or at least maybe come to 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 one of the meetings to kind of touch base as far as details, or or and maybe not. Maybe you guys, as far as covering those bases, it won't be necessary. Um, April Gustafus at Gustafson is there, so I'm sure she'll jump yeah. in and. Out. Um, you know, we've had play dates at John Marshall and stuff like that. So right. um, she's she's connected with everything. Now she's she's an ed tech person for that school, so she's not a teacher, so to say. She's working with teachers on integrating technology just at John Marshall. So um, she'll she'll be great help to us, and she has keys and everything to anything we might need. So <laughs> that's good. That's good. Well, we might as we go out there and visit and things, touch base with their administration and and just kind of see. Um, you know, make sure they know they're invited and welcome, and the, the more they're aware of kind of what we're about and what we're trying to do, and and yes. then that promoting that. So, and I'm sure the, I mean, the principal will make an appointment just to sit and talk to her and just let her know what's going on, just so she's in on it. I'm not familiar with the assistant principals there, so um, April could definitely hook us up with somebody who might be willing to, you know, join the team. So, okay. Sounds great. Well, thank you all so much for that work and for, you know, all the different people that you talked with, and it is, that's awesome. Um, what, um, 
do you do we think 400 uh, as far as the number? I think last year we were about that before we had the ice storm move uh, mm-hmm. because it, with Eventbrite, my hope, and this is open for your obviously input and suggestion, but since we've got a venue, uh, if we can look at that number, uh, we could go ahead and put the event right out there and let people start registering and, and start start talking. Or we could wait. I mean, we could also wait till January. Um, does anybody have thoughts and opinions on, uh, I guess, the numbers questions, more of a Julie question, but then the other one is just like timing-wise, what, what do you all think as far as tickets and how we start to... I think that I, think I would at least get message to the administration there at John Marshall before we start publicizing and then you know green light after that as a courtesy yeah yeah we've already talked to the principal because we had to make okay. sure their calendar was clear okay. so that so is all, yeah they all know. To go there so um, okay. just you know, form out ready of talking to her and letting her know the ins and outs and that kind of thing but yeah we cleared right. it with you before we said okay we're gonna go there so and I mean, I think 400 is great, and I mean, I don't see a problem with going ahead and publicizing it now. I mean, it should be 100%, so. Right, yeah. The earlier we get it out, the more people we get coming, so. Well, and maybe, yeah, <laughs> the earlier the better, yeah, definitely. And this is something, too, for us to think about. I mean, I've been helping with K-12 online now for 10 years, and with that conference, we've we've gotten a lot better with timelines and, you know, early things and stuff. So, you know, we, that's something else that we can we can talk about and visit as far as whether we need to, you know, get those arrangements done earlier and get stuff, you know, out sooner in the fall or, you know, whether it's whether it's all good. It's, it, it seems like there there tends to be a lot of buzz that happens in the, in the weeks ahead of it, and right. you know, we were really thrilled with how many we had, you know, registered last year, and then it, you know, shifted with the ice and stuff like that, but. Yep. Any other thoughts about timing and tickets and Okay. Well, I will I'll go ahead and uh set up the event right then and get that get that on the website. Um the other two big things to kind of talk about that are on the agenda unless we have some other thing additional things are bank account and then committees. And while we're doing this, if any of you want to start putting in committee names in there, um, we'll, we'll let's we'll do committees next. But let's let's talk a little bit about bank account. Um, I have been reluctant to, you know, just go ahead and set up a bank account and you know kind of go down that road because it seemed like it was easier not to. And we still could go that way. Um, Clinton has graciously handled our finances, and we I think we should have some amount of remainder uh, mm-hmm. from last year. Uh, but I don't know exactly how much that is. Um, I, I'm definitely for, um, you know, keeping it simple and not encumbering any of us with tax burdens and complications that are not needed. But what what do you all think about that? Because we've got different folks with different experiences with doing that, working with different groups. So what, what do you all think on the idea of should we go like we did last year and, and ask Clinton or another school to – basically handle the money as it as it comes in and out or should we you know look at setting up uh, and I'll add to that I don't know if you followed this but the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has made some substantial millions of dollars investments in ed camps there are there's now more support than ever for ed camps um, and and we could we could certainly look at I mean we're we're an annual conference I think we're going to keep happening every year I don't see us you know changing that so what what do y'all think? Um, I will say this, that Mr. Himes' uh, daughter is getting married, and he has another daughter fixing to have a baby in March. So I just don't know how much, like, as far as them handling that kind of stuff. I know he is not going to be really a- available like he has been. So that, that just may be a factor of it. But Tyler is willing to help with whatever. Okay. So maybe good to get a bank account. I don't know. Other, other what are, does anyone know what other ed camps do when they have carryover funds? I mean, are they using a organizational account? I mean, does anyone know what going what's going on on in other states, or maybe what the foundation recommends? That would be a great homework assignment. I haven't really heard. Yeah, I, I don't know the answer. I mean, we could reach out to Kyle Pace or to some of these other folks who are doing mm-hmm. you know big ones, but 
Uh, maybe that could right. be a to-do following tonight mm -hmm. that somebody could just reach out and read a little bit because I'm sure in this new information material that they have, I mean, the first little how to host the Ed Camp talk, talked about you know some of those aspects. Um, does anybody know the answer? I don't know the answer. So anybody want to volunteer to do a little, I'll, I'll little, look into little it. homework? Okay, that'll be great, Anne. I'll, I'll look into it. And I may cut out here in a minute because I'm having to drive back from a game. So if I cut out, then you guys feel free to sign me up for whatever. Okay. Case. Do, you, do, you, do you have a, co a committee preference this year, Ann, as far as what to not do or do? No. Okay. I, I'm, a, I'm a good lackey. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Well, we'll put you down to take a look at, at the bank account stuff, and then at our at our next meeting. Do you do you have? Well, and maybe we could just do this right now uh, before you leave. Um, night of the week, we've kind of done either a Tuesday or a Thursday. We've done seven. I think we've done eight before. But do folks have a preference? Because it, I think, what's worked well is kind of when we have a standing meeting, and it'll just kind of go, even if if people can't make it, and that way business can happen. And and like we said, you know, we're we're kind of been old hands at this, and it shouldn't shouldn't take quite as much dialogue and whatever in figuring out. I mean, we the, the State Department one got thrown together pretty quickly. That it, that it, was great. Yeah. So does anybody it's have like a that. preference for night no, of the week? No Tuesdays, if possible, for me. Oh, okay. It's all on Tuesdays. Okay. No how about, Tuesdays. Tuesdays. How about happening. how about Thursdays? If we if we did some Thursdays, and maybe we started like every That's, other week. I think that, I think Thursday works for me. Yeah, it works for me too. Usually, okay. this is just a rare case. My son had practice. Thursday. Okay. So, what if we look at that second Thursday after we get back from school? We get back the fourth, or I think most folks are starting back the fourth. Oh, did I lose everybody? No. No. No, no I'm, okay. I'm here. Everybody, everybody got really quiet, and I was off my screen, so I was like, oh, I crashed. Um, so, that would be the. Oh shoot! There's no wait. That's December. So that would seven. No, oh, that's January the seventh. Well, yeah, cause I would. I would. I was going to say the fourteenth, but that's actually bad for me. So oh, and the seventh uh, is a showcase. Um. Well, I guess I could still do. Do it. How about the How about the fourteenth? Do the fourteenth either. At, and do you like seven o'clock or eight o'clock? What works better for people? Is eight better when? Or things have been done to stay up later or get it done at seven. Eight's better for me. I, I'm just gonna because I'll be driving back home from Norman on Thursdays. Anybody else? But it's okay with everybody else. Eight. Eight is good. Eight's fine. Okay, so eight p.m. on the seventh, <clears throat> and then we can. Or the fourteenth. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, the fourteenth. Okay. Yeah, the fourteenth. And then um, we can maybe look at. Well, we'll talk then and figure out. But either and every, probably in every other week. I don't think we're going to need meet, meet every week. So we'll put that down for the our next meeting, the fourteenth. That okay with everybody? That works. Okay, that works. cool with me. Hey, again. I said cool with me. Okay. Hey, Anne. In in your task of the finance. Just research. Do you mind giving us a financial update from Clinton to see what we do have in the account? Sure. I can. Have. I'll see Kevin tomorrow. Oh, and Vanessa, uh, yeah, Vanessa can do that too. I'm. What they am I thinking? Push. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, that would be great to have an update of where, where we are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Excellent. Um, so, and we'll we'll continue that discussion about. Uh, about finances, um, and then figure out what we want to do because maybe we'll just continue to have an easy way to not worry about it, and that might just be great. Um, but we'll it'll be good to find out what the Ed Camp groups you know have said and what they recommend and best practice, or if there is one, and you know what the advantages or disadvantages would be. So I know last year we did we did get insurance and Story Chasers paid for that. It was like 500 bucks or something and. I mean, we had we had a fair amount of money, I think, that moved through Ed Camp OKC last year because mm -hmm. we, we had some significant donations and more for lunch and and things like that. And that all. Well, and we out. should probably we should probably keep a record of that, just if it's a loose record within our Google Doc, you know. Yes. Just, no. Just, I I agree. It will help us know to who go who to go back to, or hey, you donated last year, so we won't hit you up 
as much, you know, you know, it would just help to have that fact, record. Yeah, Vanessa, if, if it's possible, when you find out what our balance is, if you if you can find out what the transaction record was for last year, yeah, yeah. it'd be it'd be great because that we would have give us great donors that we you know that we yes. should continue to continue to, thank to work and, with and thank and right and right absolutely. And Do we have anything to check that like from our doc so then we can at least have a ledger on our own side? You know, we we have some things in there, but if if Vanessa can find out like a transaction detail because whatever activity fund <clears throat> Mr. Heim used, I mean there's there should be a way that right. that they could grab that. So I agree, and then we can you know put that in our doc, or we could have a a spreadsheet that we have as well. It's just a budget. Um, well, and, and we we see you know the sponsorships just getting sponsorship ready. We see just little snippets, but it would be nice to know. To put a dollar amount, I don't know if we've ever done that, to say we've got over $10,000 donations. You know, have we? I don't think we ever marketed it that way, or have we? I may have missed it, but no, that haven't. would be a, um, that's a really nice way to um, also encourage attendees to say we've got this many giveaways, or we've got this yeah. amount of money donated. It just speaks, speaks volumes to the power of EdCamps. Absolutely. And how generous folks are. Mm -hmm. And as huge as the SDE one was, and, and that visibility of that, I would... I would anticipate we're going to have a very well attended and successful one this year, and you know it'll open up more possibilities. Did, for, here, um, did you guys attend EdCamp CTE? I I was loosely on their planning team, but they had so many donations. Um, they had, in fact, the attendees, everybody that attended, got a gift, <laughs> got a got a giveaway. Wow. Yeah, oh my gosh! I heard had, it was good. They had, I over, talked to. They had over the top, you know, Chromebooks and this and that. So, and I have access to all that. So we may, we may, uh, you know, we may actually talk about some of those donations as well because they they did a fantastic job. Let's let's think about well, that how... guy would be good for our organizing team. What's his name? Um, Adam. Oh my gosh. Um, well, no, Levi, well, he, a lot. he left. left so. Levi. He left uh, education, but yeah, he was a big part of that, but. But there's several the people on that committee. The, the one flashes and he walks the cane. Um, I oh, said, talk to Jody. That. Yeah, he did a great organizer Sorry. to be. I mean, well, we needed extra he help. He's great. He he's be. awesome. I, I, he's a great friend, yeah. I, I would love to pull him in. And I think it would just strengthen uh, our team as well because they did a great Definitely. job at Ed Camp CT. And here's something I just thought of, and I'm putting this down under other ideas. I think we ought to be intentional uh, encouraging people to present about EdCamp, to have panels. Like I think every educational conference that we have in Oklahoma, it would be great if somebody was putting Fantastic. in something about yeah. EdCamp. And also, well, maybe, yeah, we that's could, a great idea, yeah. maybe we could do some kind of a hangout where we get some of those key volunteers who have been part of these regional EdCamps, you know, and then we yeah. kind of have a brain share to say, Talk about what works, what yeah, what doesn't what do you work. Recommend, um, yeah, because that again, that, that I think this is going to be something that'll keep happening as people are going to want to know, you know, not only just the the mechanics of doing it, but some mm -hmm. of those lessons learned, best well, practices, the wisdom. Well, you're talking exactly. That, you're talking. The, you're making the exact exactly. points that Ed Foundation is wanting to do with some of their monies that they got from the Gates Foundation. Um, a lot of that was earmarked <laughs> for researching. How um, ed camps? What? How? What are the best practices? What are you know? So maybe we could really be a model in Oklahoma, uh, and maybe they could look at us at, you know, giving us some funding if we're truly, you know, because Oklahoma has had a a, gro a huge growth in ed camps over the last three years, and I think we would be a great research model. Well, for the foundation, definitely. Don't we have the most per capita? I think that's what they said. Really. Yeah, I think we have the most per capita of ed camps, and we have the largest one on record. That's amazing. Well, there you go. We, we should we should get that like. We need to advertise. That. Okay, so let's put this on committees. Let's let's have a PR committee this year, and then let's let's work Yay. the let's work the mainstream <laughs> media outlets to you know get to get recognition. I mean, because sometimes I mean Kevin Durant came to Shelley's class, my wife's class, uh, week before last. But there were all these people that saw that mainstream. Oh my gosh, you're teaching about tomorrow's, and you know it's just mainstream media has this enormous reach that, um, I, you know we we can continue to expand and grow by leaps and bounds using just social media. And, and Oakland Ed is tremendous. But um, anyway, that would be that'd be good. Let's see what is June saying. June, June's putting something in the chat. 
I, I think that's just a great, great direction for us. Yay. I nominate Tammy to be head of that committee. Woohoo! Now you're speaking well, my language. I, well, yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I love PR. On that note, I do the tweet ups. You do the PR. I really do. <laughs> well, on that note, I, I I really want to encourage everybody to feel like do what you want to do. You know, just because yeah. you've done it before and that's your niche, that doesn't mean you need to you know keep on doing PR. that. I I'm on that. I, I passed the torch of swag, and I would love to do PR. I'd be very happy. <laughs> Okay. Boy, that was. Did anybody else hear Tammy being oh. delayed on that? Oh. Or was that just me? I'm sorry. I, I just said that. That that sounds good to me. I, I would love to do PR. I got that, but yeah, the hangout did a nice job. Yeah, that's what I heard. Understandable. I think they lost me. No, no, we're still here with you. We're here with you. Okay. Does any? Let's look at the. Uh, we're all, I'm heading up to the top of the hour. What other committees do we definitely want? And then let's think if anybody wants to to raise your hand and. But let's look at the. We got posters and signs. We got registration. Uh, we got public relations. What are, um, we need uh, prizes and swag. Aaron would be. Where is Aaron tonight? Uh, does Ann drop? She was here. Nope, she's still here. We're volunteering. Did, Ann, did Ann say that? No, Aaron Barnes. Yeah. 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 yeah Aaron, not Ann. Aaron. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Aaron Barnes. Okay. All right. I'll I'll put Aaron with a with a question mark. Um, was Anthony, you know if Anthony Purcell was interested in helping out? Because he helped out with OKSDE last year. Uh-huh, probably. Yeah, and he does Kansas, too. Right. Yeah. So. Well, and I'll put a post up with this uh, Hangout recording um, as an open, you know. This, we're an open group. We're not a, you have to, you know, have gone through some kind of uh, goldfish swallowing or some kind of whatever. <laughs> Anybody I did not know. Sorry. Well, yeah. you know, if we you didn't know, have to do that. That was for nothing, Vanessa. I know a couple of people that are um, in my area that are thinking about wanting to bring an Ed Camp to to my neck of the woods, and I might just invite someone on, um, mm -hmm. you know, to to observe uh, and act, actually contribute as an organizer. And I think that would help them as well yeah. to see the process work. Exactly. And on that note, it would mm -hmm. probably be good, Tammy, if we plan for the more than ten meetings. You know, because we're, yes, and we're I, small I here. Yes, I can do that with, with WebEx again. Um, I did. I mean, did that work out out okay for us when we used it? It did, right? I think I it did. The connection there was, was better. Yeah. I'm sorry, and by the you way, th you thought it was better at WebEx or better? Yes, at I Hangout? thought the connection was a lot better. No, WebEx was a lot better. Okay. You know, on my end, on connection. Yeah. Well, and with WebEx, you can call in versus you know video conference in versus you know low end to high end, whatever it takes. You can get in that way. Can but we record yes, the and Wes, the you want, I will. I can set up a room for that January fourteenth um, meeting then at seven. Good. Let's do that. I'll just do a calendar invite to everybody, and then we can update it with the the meeting details when you get those. Can we? Re can you record uh, the WebEx? Is that something? Yes. Okay. Yep. That sounds good. All right. So. Um, what other what other committees? Postal signs, registration, public relations, prizes and swag. We want to the app smackdown probably to be a. I don't know. If that's a committee, but we definitely have people a, who are. Let me make a, a suggestion. Just a suggestion. having been on the swag committee for a while, um, it might be helpful to break out swag versus financial support. I think those are two very separate things, and so like uh, it may take one person concentrating on swag versus that's just you know getting giveaways and then financial support would be somebody responsible for getting those securing those thousand dollar donations five hundred you know that to me was a little different so it might be that yeah. we separate those two roles okay. it's easier sounds good sounds good to me yep anything else occur as far as Committees. I'm um, just a gathering. Have we uh, want to do something for like the yeah, after yeah. the oh, free day, yes, so. the after party. Yes. Uh huh. Tweet, I really uh, like that place we went to last there, year. Ian. Yes, well, you always have, have great places. Was that was that Fassler Hall? Yeah, that's one of my favorite new places to go to. 
It's awesome. I know, that's There's really fun. Yeah. fun. yeah. All right, that sounds good. All right, anything else as far as uh, Do we have um, maybe someone uh, that could take uh, that the could lead take on inviting uh, some dignitaries in, in, just in, not that they need to speak, but just, just knowing the key people knowing to get there. I, I don't mind there. looking don't at mind that under PR, or we got to make that a separate task as well, task mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ambassador chaperone. Okay. What would you like your title to be, Vanessa? I don't. Yeah. You can be the VIP coordinator. The VIP oh. coordinator. I love it. <laughs> We're all VIP, really. But. You get to bring those people in the back door, you know, and walk them <laughs> down the red carpet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it'd be great. I see Julie putting in the chat. If Mr. New can can come. Be great to, to get a, have a focused effort on administrator participation. Yes, and that's something I, else that's to a think great about, like targeted, you know, targeted groups. Yes, and you could even yes, you could get that out. Like if you wanted to have a librarian group targeted, if you wanted an administrator group. And I can I can do some of that in PR. Um, you know, with some of the SDE lift serves, I think we could easily get on board. Um, the State Department has been so supportive of ed camps and being able to share that message as we've needed them to. So that's been fantastic. The other thing that would be beneficial if we had somebody, and I had targeter is a bad word, maybe there's something else, but like if there's somebody to focus on administrators, somebody to focus on librarians and other groups, then that person also potentially could do some things with conferences, identifying those, and that could be part of what we promote at the event, you know, is you know, librarians, and we've got the upcoming, of course, encyclopedia, but other things, and I'd, I'd love and, to just and see that mind, advocacy. Yeah, in, yeah mm -hmm. I don't mind weaving that into PR. I think that's a perfect fit there okay. um, and wouldn't get too big for me. So okay. um, so recapping, recapping that, West, just um, really targeting, promoting EdCamp at the other conferences, right? Right. At Camp OKC. Okay, yeah, and then, then the idea of... And maybe sure we get a panel assembled for... That's right. Yeah, and yeah, trying okay. trying to intentionally encourage um, people having sessions and conversations about it camps to raise awareness and just to, just to have that as a constant, you know, that... You're at an education. Uh, oh, they're talking about a camp. Oh, yeah, I remember I've heard about that. Well, I'm going to go and find out now. And anyway, that would be that would be good. Hey, June's back. Okay. Okay. Well, we are about out of time. Um, do we have anything else as far as other ideas? We got the Google form uh, for 2017. We got the WebEx that Hammy's going to set up. Anything we else? We need somebody that is head of T-shirts. Oh yes, we do. Volunteer. Well, I I don't mind looking into that if you guys want me to. Um, but I think Vanessa is really good at doing the logos. I've got this design in mind uh, that's just like this single like it's gonna be really controversial, but I think it'll be exciting. So I'm gonna no arrows that. though, right? No. Yeah, I was trying. To, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to be snide to say something about that. Yeah, that was fun. Had to do it. That was fun. So I'm sorry. Was that a volunteer? Well, and you know, coordinator? promoting the you know promoting the art again might be another idea um, to just create a right. buzz. Sure. Create I mean, a contest. Having, having a student creating, yeah, creating. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Has anybody been we in touch with, with Amanda James, by the way? Because Amanda's, <laughs> Amanda's not a class anymore, so I don't connect with her. Oh. Anybody? Her daughter's um, I saw her the other day. She's going back to work on her doctorates, and she went to something at OU and stopped by my office. I guess it's been a few weeks. Okay. June, what do you wish we had been talking about in December last year that we didn't talk about? Was there anything that... No, I can't think of anything. Um, it's, it was pretty well organized as far as what we needed to get done and what we had... Uh, Ready to go. You had to do quite a bit of legwork, though, on some of the some of the food stuff, didn't you? And janitorial and custodial. I mean, you really. 
the, the food, I think the food stuff was the toughest part because not knowing whether or not the weather was going to come in and uh, all that, and then uh, um, what kind of funding was going to be available. And I had some people down here that just was not willing to cooperate with the with that food issue. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll, I just put food coordinator in. So maybe we should just go ahead and have that as a as a role for somebody. Yeah. Else. Well, I can help with that as well, um, and try to get drinks and food. Uh, do the same thing from last year and just kind of assist as we need to. Okay. If the, if the plan is to feed everybody. And and well, and we can we can we can talk about that in more depth next time. But um, I think that that worked pretty well. Did, did everyone? Like that? I thought it was perfect. It was great. We got a lot of networking done, and Johnny, uh, Jonathan uh, shared his Zillow app, and that was great. Do you guys remember that, that on the app SmackDown when he told everybody that he had a brand new app called Zillow? <laughs> Funny. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we're about at the top of the hour. We had a great meeting of lots of lots of good ideas. Please feel free to add things. We'll just continue to use our Google Doc as we have in the past. We've got our next meeting set up for the 14th. Anne's going to investigate the bank account. Wes is going to set up Eventbrite. Um, any other to-dos that we need to ask folks to do? Real quick, I mean, if we did do the food thing, I did like the app SmackDown during lunch. I thought that was really good. So if we do get provided, I thought that was a good networking thing. Okay. That, was, that went well last year, I thought. And then um, if you guys will, if you guys would please say a prayer for the Clinton community. We lost a prominent member of our community in that tragic I-40 shooting, and it's been a oh really my. sad day. So um, he's Was a it the therapist. woman or the... It was the man. The man? Um, yeah, okay. he's a physical therapist here in town, and oh. just an amazing man, amazing family, and it's just been, it's been a hard day, hard, hard day. Okay, will do. Definitely be praying for his family. Yeah, it's horrible. Mm. Uh, one other thought Traffic. I just had is we could, um, I don't know that it would work, but we could, we could. Uh, nobody's done any tweet-ups. We've had those sometimes in Oklahoma City. I could talk to Josh Williams and see, but I don't know. That Virtual is always good, but, and maybe we just wait. I don't know. I was thinking that we, there, we could have a tweet-up or something like that before, before it happens, but yeah, maybe well, not. Why not why do not? something like a coffee EDU type thing right before? Just do that instead of the coffee being served there. So explain that. What do you mean? Like, uh, is this before Ed Camp or something that would be? Yeah, right before Ed Camp. Just like a mini tweet up right before you do the Ed Camp. Mm -hmm. So like a. Are you like, talking the like night before? Night before? Because we've night traditionally before. done a night before tweet up. Yeah, uh, the night before one, but you can also do one for the morning people that uh, that can't make the evening one. <laughs> Uh, Great idea. Coffee, like the coffee queue, yeah. Like the coffee queue or coffee edu is some other mm -hmm. people do. Get somebody to sponsor coffee, yeah. and, uh, and then they can just head over there to uh, John Marshall right afterwards. Okay. That's a great idea. I like right, that put, idea. That's awesome. The night owls and the early birds. Yeah. Oh, I like, <laughs> I like that. that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. yeah. There's a Panera Bread really close to John Marshall right there, too. So, I mean, that could be a hangout place. So what I can do for the food part, what I can do is try to get somebody to sponsor the, uh, the coffee EDU part and sponsor us uh, there. Would that work? Yeah. 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 Well, be, be thinking about what, uh, what roles, if, you, if your name is not on uh, one of these, what, what you would like to do. We can have more. Oh, we just lost a bunch of people. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, lightning struck. Okay. Well, I think it's time to go. So. Yeah. All right. Well, everyone have a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you. And we will. Tomorrow's the last day. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> my, although my kids Bye, got out everyone. Tuesdays. So. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. Wow. Bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. Bye everybody.